Well, hey guys, welcome to the Daily Bits. We're going to talk about Xbox for a moment. Uh, we're going to talk about video games. I know it's not you guys' favorite thing, but it's my favorite thing, well, one of my favorite things. We're going to talk about Xbox for a moment. So, there's been a new release on Game Pass. It's a Microsoft exclusive called Redfall, uh, made by the awesome guys over at Arcane. Arcane is pretty safe, usually, for... Uh, AAA exclusives like Dishonored, Prey, uh, Deathloop, stuff like that. Um, they even did okay with the Wolfenstein game they did. It was Young Bloods. It, it, it was okay. It was okay. It wasn't the best, but, you know, it wasn't terrible. But anyways, they came out with Redfall, which I have not played yet, but I have seen the reviews. I've seen people saying, oh, this is the end of Xbox. This is the worst day the Xbox has ever had. Uh, Phil Spencer should step down. Uh, it's terrible, terrible. And, you know, they released a bad game. They did. They released it. It was a shitty game, apparently. Uh, I'm not going to play it until at least they patch it up and make it playable. But it does look bad. It does look bad. Especially right now, since the month of May, we have... Uh, Nintendo coming out with Legend of Zelda Tears of the Sun. Is it Tears of the Sun? Tears of the Kingdom. Why not Tears of the Sun? Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, PlayStation had bangers last year. They had, uh, it wasn't Horizon. They had God of War Ragnarok. And I don't know what they had this year. What, what's what's their big title they had this, this year? Maybe I missed out. But there's been a slew of great games that's come out so far this year. It's just May. We're, we're almost halfway through the year. Um, but Xbox, they released a not good game, and it looks bad on them, even though they released a game of the year contender early on this year called Hi-Fi Rush. But, for some odd reason, they don't want to talk about that. They're like, oh, well, Xbox is doomed because they released one bad game, forgetting that they released one really good game this year. Now, the year's not over. We have Starfield coming out. And this isn't me trying to be an Xbox fanboy. Uh, I own all the systems. I have PlayStation, I have the Switch, I have this PC. I have all the classic machines. I have a Wii U, PlayStation 3. Uh, all these classic machines. I'm a gamer. I love games. I love every, every console. That's just the way it is. But anyways, as far as we know right now, the only big game coming out for the Xbox that's not been shown yet. Uh, there's always a chance that things will be shown on this June's uh, showcase. But Starfield. Now Starfield's another Bethesda game. Uh, apparently Bethesda and the Xbox partnership um, is very, they're not, Xbox is not very hands-on with Bethesda. They kind of let Bethesda run themselves. Kind of similar to how Blizzard did when Activision bought them. Um, Everybody's kind of looking to Starfield. Is, is, is this going to be great? We all, we all know that if it's coming from Bethesda, it's going to be buggy. It's going to be buggy. But usually, most of the time, they're track record, unless you're going by the last few years with Fallout 76 and now Redfall. Um, it might, might have caused some hesitation and some just people just not really, not really caring. Not really caring at this point. They, they know it's like, well, you release this bad game, Bethesda. You release two bad games. You release three bad games. But we did have a game of the year contender, so that's got to be a plus. I don't think it's doom and gloom for Xbox, especially even though they lost their uh, case to buy Activision Blizzard. I know a lot of people is like, ah, oh, that's a huge blow, which it is. It's, it's, it's a big deal. That was going to be a big deal for Xbox. But, you know, that might not work out. So, Xbox has to do something different. Um, but, I, I don't think people should write off the Xbox just because they released a bad game. Um, it, it's, to me, that I think that's incredibly dumb. Just because, I mean, there's a chance that, who knows, maybe they can release another uh, surprise like Hi-Fi Rush. And actually put some marketing towards it. Maybe they can turn Halo around. Maybe they can bring out a new Gears of War trailer. I know some people are sick of Gears. Talk about the quality of Gears going down the hill. Which, I liked Gears. I, I like the last few Gears games. Um, 
But I, I don't think people should just say that Xbox is dead just because Redfall was a disaster. I don't think I don't think that's the case. I think I think people doing that they're just kind of dogpiling, and you know all these influencers are doing the same thing. You're like, well, Xbox is doomed. It might as well just throw away your Xbox, never buy an Xbox again. Again, when it's just one bad game. You can say what you want about Halo Infinite. I liked it. You know, it still had some pretty good scores. Had a great campaign. But as far as everything else, we don't we don't know what's coming. I know Xbox wants to make Game Pass the be all in gaming Netflix services. I know that's what they want to do. I think they're in the right track. But they are going to release some duds. I mean, Sony's released some duds. Nintendo's released some duds. Uh, Sony, not as much. I mean, they have some pretty, pretty great games, great first-party studios. But you got to remember, Microsoft still does have a lot of studios that have not really announced any of their titles uh, or shown off anything. We don't know how things are looking on that end, but this could possibly good, be good. I don't know. I hope so. But, you know, I, I'm going to try out Redfall eventually. Uh, it's not on my radar right now. It was, but I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to buy it. Uh, if I do buy it, it will be on sale. But I do have Game Pass, so I'll just play it on Game Pass. Uh, just to see how it is. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I, I think Xbox could bounce back from this. I don't think it's doom and gloom. I don't think it's the end of the world. Just another bad game. It's just hard to really say who's to blame for it but anyways love you guys very much and i'll see you soon